What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, FB Aftermath. Hey, I just want to thank you guys for the 2019 that you have given me, for all the likes, the subscriptions, the support, pretty much. You know I wouldn't be anything without you guys, and that's not something that I'm just saying freely. That's the honest truth. I, without the internet, I, I, have, I have nowhere to go. I'm going to work at JCPenney's. Or go back working at Cotton Patch. Yes, I used to work at a place called Cotton Patch. Yes, this skin is black. That being said, I hope you guys had a wonderful 2019. I hope the 2020 is a lot better. I know the 2020 definitely is going to be a lot better for me because this year, as I said in the last videos, I'm going to get organized collaborations. I know that's one thing I slack at. I don't do enough things with people. So I want to collaborate with so many people this year. I want my channel to be more like, you know, Juji's channel and stuff because this channel is just fun and people are just always there. And like, I want to be that person. You know what I'm saying? I like his channel a lot and that's why he's grown, you know, tremendously. So congratulations to you, Juji. Uh, I look up to your channel. You know, I, I remember when we used to do videos together and like, you know, when you were just starting out and to see where you are now, just lets me know how like far behind I am. But that being said, we are starting a new series for 2020 and what this series is about is anime, right? You guys know I love anime. Even if you don't watch it, anime is the reason why I got fit and I want to put that onto somebody else. Now, what we're gonna be doing is finding the most badass anime characters and my goal is to try to build an exercise routine based off of that character. Now, what I'm gonna do is almost pretty much a full week's routine of what I would, if, I, if that character was right in front of me, I would pretty much say, all right, this is what we're gonna work on this week. You know, and that's gonna be their routine for the month or whatever. So you guys can follow along, take these routines for yourself, you know, write it down. I'll be making about three to four exercises each week for each character. Now, what better way to start the year than with your boy Mirio Togata. Aw, yeah, you are here. Lamellian, all right, your boy is a badass. He has a quirk called Premonition, which allows him to phase through objects. I activate my quirk in my entire body. Then I can pass through anything I want, no sweat. Everything, that includes solid ground. Which becomes an actual difficult quirk for him to master his father has it as well and he wants to be a pro hero but decided to give up because he couldn't handle pretty much mastering the difficult quirk but mirio decided to you know what i'm not going to do that i'm going to be a hero and this is the route i'm going to take and i you know i commend your boy because he doesn't have anything you would think it's not something crazy, but his quirk is actually really dope and how he uses it. He predicted this is where I'd be. Pretty smart. Watch this, an ultimate move. Blinder touch eyeball crush. You just gotta watch Boku no Hero, guys. If you're not watching it, you should definitely be on it. So that should be on your anime list. So that being said, my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. All right, so starting off, we're gonna do three sets of 12 lateral swings left and right. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands on the wall. You're gonna put your hips forward, squeeze the glutes while having one leg in front and going left to right from as high as you can left, as high as you can right, but don't force it. This is something that should become more of in, in your natural mobility, right? We're doing more of a dynamic warm up, loosen up. Um, I really don't do the static stretching or have anybody do static stretching before exercises. Everything has to be somewhat paced uh, movement with a, a, a good normal amount of speed. And then we're gonna do front kicks as well. So at, you just did the lateral uh, swings. Then we're gonna do the front swings, which are just going back and forth. Really opening up the pelvic area up those hips because what we're going to be doing a lot of is so a little bit of agility um, performance work some jumping um, some lateral step overs just things that involve the hips being loosened up now the hips is pretty much that center point of everything I mean you have the abs but when you can't move if your hips don't move you ain't moving your legs 
Yeah, your hip your hip mobility determines how far your legs can move in a certain um, in a certain angle. So you really need to have open hips. That's why when football or linebackers and stuff, linebackers have to have open hips in order for them to turn those hips back and pretty much run backwards. And we just need mobility. The main goal of this uh, main goal of these um, dynamic warmups is mobility. So to further the warm up, we have wall runs. Now what we're gonna do is place our hands on the wall once again. We're gonna bring that knee up, um, flex that toe. We want that toe flexed forward up towards the ceiling. And we wanna do that every step. So you toe up, knee up, hit, next leg, hit, next leg. And we're gonna do 20 repetitions. We're gonna do four sets. And each set, we're gonna get faster. As I said, you start marching on the first set. Second set, you, you know, go a little bit faster not not running yet third set you're in like a jog state and then that fourth set you're hauling ass so that is the third exercise we have for the warm up Now for the first exercise, I would base these workout pretty much off of a lot of mobility and power movements. So we're going to start this off with med ball slams, five sets of five, with box jumps, five sets of five. And with the med ball slams, I want you to come up as hard as you can, ball all the way in the air, but I don't, I want you to bring the ball up as hard as you can in the air, but I do not want your toes to come off. I want you to get on your toes, but I don't want you to jump. Come up, and why? the reason why is because I want your body to learn how to your abs are going to have to contract to keep that ball from flying all the way up and out your hands as well as your body from flying up because you're taking a loaded weight taking a weight uh exploding it overhead your body's going to want to go that way as well so your main goal is to control that and then come back down throw the ball to the ground squeeze the abs again boom two three, four, five. And then right after, we want to use that same movement and go into the box jump. These are things that I like to do. It's called contrast training where you do a weighted movement and then you do a body weighted movement right after, which helps your body be more explosive, understand power and speed. And going into the box jump really helps your body develop that. Next up is pull-ups and dip. Wi-Fi isn't set up. You can find instructions in the help section of your Alexa app. I didn't ask you. Anyways, next up is pull-ups and dips. Now, as you see, I'm doing supersets. Um, with the type of body Miro has, I would have my client do supersets because the mobility and the endurance needed for him, as well as the power and like strength training is needed for him because like I said, he, his quirk is not anything crazy. It's like, he still, he has the power of just a human, you know? So he has to develop his own strength and, you know, um, speed, explosiveness, and really just be a freaking stud. He has to build himself to be a stud outside of just his quirk. So I would do the dips and the pull-ups back to back. We're still building muscle, we're still building strength, and we're also building endurance because it's not easy, you know, going back to back from a, from an, uh, an exercise. And we're gonna do five sets of eight for the pull-ups and five sets of 12 for the dips back to back. We'll be doing landmine barbell oblique twists which is an advanced movement, and then we'll be supersetting into single arm push press with the landmine and barbell. Now, for this, we're focused on the obliques. Like I said, we have to work on the mobility we have in our core, and we need a strong core because Miro's core pretty much looks insane. I mean, as you can see in this T, just saying T, you just go aftermath, 20% off. You can see that he, if you watch the anime and if you or you read the manga, you can see that he's very mobile and he has core strength. I I saw him jump in the air and then switch his positioning while being in the air. You have to have insane 
core strength to jump in the air and change your positioning mid in midair pretty much so the oblique twist will definitely help with that it's a good core exercising uh, it's a good core exercise to develop the uh just the core period and then moving on to the push press landmines we're really developing the shoulders because the shoulders control motion and abilities to change directions as well just you know the hips core shoulders are great things that help that you know, you throw you throw your arm this way. What's your body gonna do? See, I'm just throwing my arm that way. My body wants to go that way. Throw my arm that way. Throw my arm that way. Wherever you throw in your arms, your body's gonna want to go that way. And the stronger you can get that, and more powerful and explosive, then the faster you can get to that direction. So that's why I'm supersetting uh, these two things because even with the oblique twist, you're still getting some type of shoulder work as you're pulling it down to the knee coming back over pulling it down to the knee you're rotating the hips you're rotating the 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 planted foot boom right back over and you're getting a full on power twist mobility exercise um, with a push as well we have squats now with squats you all you guys know we did a alternative type of squat we did the box squats and we're going to do a set of 10 a set of eight a set of six and a set of four we're gonna do pyramid scheme, that way we're working on volume and we're also working on strength at the same time. You guys know me, you know I love pyramid sets. I think they're the ultimate type of set scheme for exercising when it comes to building muscle and strength training as well. You get the best of both worlds. And the box jump, I mean the box um, squats kind of teach, reteach you how to properly squat, use your glutes, um, load yourself up and be explosive. So next up, we have lateral step ups. Now with this exercise, we're gonna do 100 reps. We're just going haul ass as many reps. I mean, not as many reps, the reps is 100 reps. We're just hauling ass, pretty much getting it, trying, getting it done as fast as we can, keeping proper form, stepping left to right, alternating through legs, pushing through the burn. And that's the whole main focus about this. We just did the squats, our legs are already getting fatigued. Now we're going to this movement that it requires me, there's no extra body, there's no extra body weight, but we're going left and right, you know, and we're trying to keep ourselves in control, um, not fight through the tiredness of, you know, not only our lungs, but our legs that are burning as well. So 100 reps with this, and then right after, we have 25 box squatted jumps. So you're sitting back just like you did on the box squat, the weighted, but now you're jumping. We have 25 reps. So your legs are going to be burning like crazy. And that's what's good because it's going to allow you to continue on moving. That's the whole thing with Miro. Like if, if you watch Hero Academia, he's just constantly moving no matter how much he's tired, how much he's sweating. And you have to have strong, um, strong legs and legs that can hold the endurance and that pretty much push through that burn that you um go through when you're taxing the legs a lot so <laughs> yeah it was it was tough huh? you, you're looking at me standing up now i did this earlier today but we got through it we did it this is the first workout of the miro lamillion um anime series exercise and i, I really don't know what to call it what should I call this anime series? You guys comment below in the chat. Would much appreciate it. Give me some ideas of what I should call this anime training series because I think anime training series is too simple. ATS, something like that. But um, I hope you guys enjoy. Once again, Happy New Year's. I was about to say Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, Happy New Year's. You guys are awesome. I will catch you later. Catch me on my Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash at the aftermath for one-on-one -on -one personal training in North Hollywood or online training. Email me at T-E-R-R-O-N-2311 at gmail.com. Also, if you want your Lamillion tank, just saying.co, go to Aftermath, get you some gear. Peace. <laughs> of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's.
Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business.